this section we're going to work on some minor text formatting uh, with something called headings, a text heading. I've got my HTML skeleton uh, created. I've already saved it to my file, uh, my file folder. And I put a title on here called text headings. Now HTML is, is a bit confusing because a lot of times there are tags that, that sound a lot alike. For example, we have the head tag, which we've already learned about. Today we're going to learn about some headings. And there's also an HTML5 tag called the header tag. So head, headings, and header. I can see why it's, it's very confusing. Uh, but just you know, keep them all straight. Head is just at the top of your HTML document. It's where technical things go. Headings are text headings. They're, they're things that we can use to put on the front of pages or paragraphs that just make our text a little bigger and bolder. Now to start out with, I'd like to go ahead and maybe drop in um, just a, a few different headings. So let's say, uh, I'll say text heading number one. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm not going to put any sort of uh, line break after them or anything like that. I'm just going to drop them in just like so. Now, as text alone, without any sort of, of tag around it or line break, if we save this and look at this in a browser, This is what we get. Text heading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get them stacked side by side, as we should. Now, I want to put a my first heading tag on here, and it's actually abbreviated H1. And closing H1. H stands for heading, and as you can probably imagine, we're going to have six different ones. Uh, H1 through H6. I'm just going to start with the one for now. I can save this and look at this in my browser and I can see that several things happen. Uh, first of all, it's very large, it, it appears to be bold, and it also puts a couple of extra lines after it, sort of like a paragraph tag. So by default, a text heading without any sort of other formatting, no CSS, nothing at all like that, makes uh, the text larger, bolder, and on its own line. Now let's go ahead and continue and drop in the rest of these headings. H2, H2, H3. After H3, I'll stop and look at it in a browser. I can see that text heading 1 is the largest, and it looks like with each one it's getting a little smaller. Text heading 2, text heading 3, and so on. So I'll go ahead and finish off the six of them here, because that's what's built into HTML, are six of these text headings. Heading five, closing heading five. One more to go here, and we'll take a look at it. H6 for heading six, and here's the closing H6. We'll save that, check that out in a browser, and there we go. Now what's kind of strange about this is that once you get down to the fifth and sixth ones, they don't really look like headings at all. Uh, they're actually very small, maybe even smaller than our default font size. So we might have to rely on some CSS formatting later to help us out with this. But for right now, you can at least see that you can have a text heading that you can put above a paragraph or at the top of a page that, that gives us at least a, a larger size and a bold pretty easily. Last thing I want to try for this lesson is to just drop in a couple of paragraphs. Uh, I'll run out to Lipsum.com to do that. L-I-P-S-U-M.com, my favorite place to go out and grab some dummy text. Gonna scroll down a bit and hit generate. And I'll drop in, let's say, three paragraphs. So in my case here, in my example, I'm going to drop them in after the heading two. You'll see why when this is all done. Uh, so on heading one, I'm going to change that from text heading one to say um, about us. This is going to be my about page, for example. 
my heading two is going to say our founders. And that's where I'm going to drop in those three paragraphs. Now remember from the previous lesson, if you want to uh, actually have it format like a paragraph, you're going to need to put in the P or paragraph tag. And I'm going to drop those in at the beginning and end of each paragraph, opening P, closing P. I'll do that for each one here. It's going to paste those in at the beginning, and then I'll copy the closing paragraph and paste those in at the end. And you don't see me going to, to copy and paste. You know, I'm using my keyboard shortcuts for all of those. Same with save. But once I save that and go look at that in my browser, about us is sort of like our page title. Our founders, and I've got in uh, a few paragraphs here. And then realistically, I'm probably not going to need all of these uh, headings. I'm going to use one or two. Um, and it's totally up to you. You can eyeball this. When I look at this, I think this is a bit large. I want this to be large and, and obvious for my page title. But this, maybe I'll try to make it a little smaller. So if I go back to my HTML here, I'm going to drop this down to an H3. Remember, H1 is the largest and H6 is the smallest. And it, it tapers down in between. So I'm going to say Our Founders, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to copy the Our Founders and the three paragraphs below it. I'm going to delete these last four headings. I don't need those at this point. I'm just going to toss those out of there, just delete them, and paste in the next heading and those other paragraphs. And I'm going to change this from Our Founders. So if this is the About Us page, About Our Founders, About uh, Company History, how about that? I'll save that, Command S or Control S on your keyboard. I'll go back and, and refresh that in my browser, and now I can see that I've got this large heading one, About Us, right up at the top. And I can see two distinct sections, Our Founders, with some paragraphs, Company History, and a few paragraphs. So by knowing simply the uh, the heading tags, the six of those, you can actually start to format this a little bit. We still don't have any colors or a lot of layout, but at least with the heading tags and the paragraph tag that we've already learned in the past, uh, at least we can start to organize our content some. Content is king on the internet. Formatting is great and design is great and it's, it's a necessity, but it doesn't matter what your site looks like if it's empty. You've got to have good content. So. Formatting content is generally done with these, uh, these tags. Of course, we will combine it with some other things uh, like CSS and, and some layout tools. But uh, when I'm working professionally on, on my websites, I generally use the heading tag and paragraph just like I have today for just about every piece of content that I've got. So looking back here at our uh, code, um, H1 is the largest, H6 is the smallest, and they taper down from there. So um, in the future, we'll learn on how we can maybe format these a little bit more, um, or we can add specific fonts or colors or, or even a size to it. The only bad thing or the only unknown about the heading tag right now is since it does not have any sort of font size, um, it's at the browser's mercy to interpret those. So a heading one in Chrome may not be the exact same as a heading one in Internet Explorer. The browsers get to interpret those. When we learn CSS in the future, we'll get to sort of mandate that a little bit. So I could say all my heading ones, for example, are going to be 32 pixels. Uh, but for right now, it, that's one of those things that the browsers get to interpret differently. Um, I think you'll see the most fluctuation between Internet Explorer and the other browsers, generally with like the heading 5 and heading 6, I think those appear the most different from browser to browser. So there we have it. Heading tags gives us a little bit of text formatting.